Recently, tournament organizers ESL and WePlay announced 1xBet as their global esports betting partner. On paper, this seems fine, even boring, but in reality, 1xBet is under criminal investigation, all three of its alleged founders are on international wanted lists, and the website has allegedly been fined more than a million dollars for its shady business practices, including betting on underage sporting events and running a porn casino. All right guys, watch the video, then like the video, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss me doing weird shit with my hands ever again. So, when ESL and WePlay announced their partnership with 1xBet back in March, the idea was that ESL for CSGO and Dota and WePlay for the FGC would run integrated ads during broadcasts and maybe do some sponsored content in between matches, the sort of thing that we've seen a million times before. But once you get past the celebratory press releases and actually take a closer look at 1xBet, a lot of red flags start popping up fast. The Russian casino and betting website was allegedly founded by Sergei Karshkov, Roman Semyokin, and Dmitry Kazarin in 2007, and has allegedly operated in a weird legal gray area for years. In the UK, for example, 1xBet never technically had a legal gambling license, which comes with a host of rules and regulations. Instead, what 1xBet did was go to a company that was above board, FSB Technology in this case, and join them under a white label partnership. And a white label partnership is where one company, FSB Technology, outsources its image, likeness, and licenses to a bunch of other companies like 1xBet in order to bring these companies under their brand umbrella without fully owning them. And like I said, 1xBet hummed along for quite a while. Shit, in 2018, they even won a sports betting innovation award. But let's skip ahead to 2019 where everything starts to fall apart. In February of that year, FSB Technology was fined 400,000 euros, roughly 482,000 USD, after Dutch gambling regulators allegedly found 1xBet operating in the region without a license. From there, 1xBet rebounded in a big way. They signed partnerships with Premier League soccer clubs like Chelsea, Liverpool, and Tottenham, just to name a few. And to put this into perspective, this was a huge get for 1xBet. Think about all of the eyeballs that come along with three of the biggest soccer clubs in the world. Ironically though, according to a report published in 2019 by cybersecurity firm White Bullet, 1xBet was a terrible repeat offender when it came to advertising on illegal websites that apparently ripped off those same Premier League games. Now, you'd think that a billion dollar soccer club would do some due diligence on a company it's considering partnering with. If you just Google 1xBet reviews, you're met with review after review from people saying 1xBet is essentially a scam that wouldn't let them remove their money from their accounts and basically ghosted them when they tried to contact them. Five days later on August 10th, the London Times published an investigation that alleged on top of the illegal streaming websites and not giving people their money that 1xBet did the following allowed betting on underage sporting events, advertised a Pornhub casino, and took bets on and ran illegal cockfighting streams. Okay, a few things here. One, the cockfighting was marketed as Battlecock, which, I mean, great creative vision. Two, the live streams were stamped with Premier League team logos, which is not a good look. And three, yes, naked women in gambling is very much against the UK's gambling regulations. Side note, illegal cockfighting has become a huge problem on Twitch, with more channels popping up faster than Twitch can shut them down. Not long after that, the UK Gambling Commission slapped 1xBet's award-winning ass with a $720,000 fine and released a report finding them in violation of everything we just talked about. On top of that, they also shut down 1xBet's UK website. 
Quote, a gambling commission investigation discovered SFB did not have sufficient oversight of three third-party websites or effective anti-money laundering and social responsibility policies and procedures in place between January 2017 and August of 2019. All operators should pay close attention to this case as it shows that we hold all licensees fully responsible for third-party relationships and we will act against any of our licensees that do not manage third parties appropriately. These were blatant breaches of rules we have put in place to ensure gambling is fair, safe, and crime-free." The report goes on to allege that 1xBet had basically zero oversight when it came to stopping customers from recklessly gambling, and it also blasted FSB technology for not doing its due diligence before doing business with the Russia-based company. After that report came out, 14 countries eventually banned 1xBet from operating. But through mirror websites and VPNs, 1xBet is still extremely easy to access. Now, remember our three Russian alleged founders from before, Sergei, Roman, and Dmitry? Well, according to a report released by Russian authorities, all three of those dudes and 1xBet have been under criminal investigation since 2014 for, you guessed it, operating in the country without a gambling license, which carries a six-year prison sentence. The final report states that 1.5 billion rubles, or roughly 19 0.6 million USD were seized in assets as a part of the investigation. Anyway, according to the report, all three men apparently fled to Cyprus. All three men are included on multiple international wanted lists. And here's the kicker. Apparently, Sergei Karshkov was once a cop working in a cybercrime division. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, okay, well, they fled to Cyprus. They must be keeping a low profile. Nope. They fled to Cyprus, installed a new CEO, and kept on keeping on. This is something Upper Echelon Gaming highlighted in a recent video he made on the subject. The CEO of 1xBet is now Miss Kiriaki Kostikian, a Cyprus resident. And this by itself is not exactly noteworthy, not at all, owing to the fact that companies wishing to dodge global regulations by using the Cyprus corporate legal system will just partner with someone in the area to run their company. Kiriaki Kostikian has dozens of businesses in their name that I could easily find, which kind of reinforces that idea. And then they continue on as normal. Now, a quick Google search on this Kiriaki Kostikian person who is the current CEO of 1xBet leads you to the fact that in 2015, he allegedly defrauded investors out of 60 million euros and then fled the fucking country. All right, all of this brings us back to ESL and WePlay deciding to partner with 1xBet. I reached out to everyone involved and only ESL got back to me. Here's their statement. Quote, ESL is aware of allegations made against one of our partners for the ESL Pro Tour in CSGO and our ESL 1 Dota 2 competitions. We are committed to providing the best esports experiences to the best fans with best in-class partners. Integrity is a number one priority for ESL and as such, we are currently investigating this matter thoroughly to make sure we continue to live up to that commitment. End quote. Now, it's great that ESL is investigating the matter. But you think that they would investigate a company that they're looking to do business with, well, before they do business with them. Now, we've made a bunch of don't at me's covering the dark side of betting and gambling in esports, as well as how ESL is cracking down on match fixing in its scenes. Now, while 1xBet never got back to me, here's a statement they gave to the London Times after they published their investigation. Quote, if any of these third party networks or partners are found to advertise the 1xBet brand on prohibited sites or sites which break the law, 1xBet shall investigate immediately, end quote. So, will ESL or WePlay drop 1xBet as a partner? Will there be more criminal investigations? Honestly, I don't know. But I do have a feeling that this money-fueled nightmare is not going to be over anytime soon. From there, 1xBet rebounded in a big way, signing partnerships with Premier League Clock... Clock... Clocker subs? What the f*** is that? Very much against the UK's gambling... Gambling. See, I give you the easy way out because I'm just such a dolt that we never have to actually come up with an end board.